Welcome to the Agile community and our technical tips and tricks videos. My name is Sebastian Perisa, Director of Community and Senior Engineer. Today I will guide you through the process of how to reset the device to factory default. There is a couple of reasons why you want to do that. One of them could be that you assigned a configuration to your endpoint which breaks some specific behaviors or sometimes the scripts that you created locally or using uh, find a network command or sometimes even a custom partition can also have a couple of consequences on boot process etc. Then speaking about our browser integrations like Mozilla Firefox or Chromium you might have a corrupted cache because that happens from time to time in specific browser uh, use cases. So if you want to get rid of everything that a user may have done locally or the cache that was corrupted, a factory reset would have too. And last but not least, uh, when coverings are invented use or tests, let's imagine you did something and you want to handle all the device in a proper state back to the end user. That's what you would usually do by doing a factory reset and re-registering the device uh, in the target folder structure. And same on tests, like creating profiles, a couple of them, sometimes having a local configuration, which might have been overwritten by a profile, but as soon as we remove a profile, it gets broken. So, like on every tutorial we are looking at, we are now using the Universal Management Suite, also known as UMS. I have selected one device, a virtual machine in my case, that I want to reset to factory defaults. So, the first step I would do as a user is right click the device, go to delete. And without no further action, I would expect the device will be reset to factory defaults. To be clear, that's not the case. Let's start with the first part of my answer. First, always remember that if not disabled in US mass administration, you still have a recycle bin where you can find deleted profiles but also devices. So, if you want to get rid of a local configuration made by a profile, you have now to go to delete from bin or, or right click the recycle bin and clear it completely. Now, my expectation would be again as a user that my device will be reset to factory default. Making it short, it isn't. So we are looking at my virtual machine that just deleted from the recycle bin and you will still notice that I have a couple of configurations left on the device. So that's exactly where the delete from UMS step is differing from a factory result. It will only delete configuration made by profiles or master profiles, etc. It will not delete a local configuration made in the Azure setup, like an example, like a custom application, or if I'm looking at the display switcher, a display switcher configuration. If I want to get rid of that kind of configurations, my advice would be to move back to the UMS and I just have to re-register my device. So let me just pause my recording for a second. So my device is back. And now I will right click the device again or the folder I want to reach. Go to reset to factory defaults and send now the real command. Please reset everything which is made locally or through profiles from this device to make it back to a state where it was playable by Agile or converted by your software deployment tool. So now the device will reboot and remove more or less everything. When I say more or less, I mean everything but the license information. So if you just reset the device this way, you will not get rid of any kind of starter license or assigned workspace edition license or even the EMP enterprise measurement pack subscription. So now my device is back and I'm seeing my first front wizard. 
So, like I said, everything is now back to normal. But we have a couple of other use cases to see, so let me just re register my device again. Here we go. And now check by right clicking this device, edit configuration, checking under system, remote management, which your mess server did take this device over. So basically, it's the UMS we are looking at, so we are good. Just in case, that's the way I would use to check if another UMS, like a test system or predictive system, if you are in the test environment, took over the device by an automatic registration process. So if I want to move this device from one UMS to another, and I cannot really rely on just resetting it to factory defaults because some default directory rules and automatic registration would take the device over. Creating a local command line interface session, also known as terminal, just in case if you want to get more information about the command line, please follow videos.agilecommunity.com where we have a specific tutorial on how to access the command line interface. So I created my session, login locally as root, going to the partition called WFS, check if a file called server.crt is there and removing it by using the command remove, so am server.crt will remove, let's say, the association between U1 endpoint and this one UMS. Please do that with caution, just in case um, this command can also be used to um, de-authenticate your endpoint from your UMS server. So as soon as we remove this one, you will not be able to send profiles anymore. You will have to register it again by hand. So that's the reason why I'm saying just be careful. That's one way, but just remember that we have a couple of other ways that you can achieve in the command line. So that's the way I want to move one device from one UMS to another. The other approach could be to issue the command reset to defaults, which is more or less exactly the same command that the UMS will send to the endpoint when you say right click reset to factory defaults. In my case, I don't want to keep any kind of local settings. So I'm pushing yes to reset the terminal to real factory defaults. Besides the license information, because there the license information will stay two. So just waiting a couple of seconds that the command will accomplish itself. And just after that, I will have to reboot my device. And then my device will get back to standard factory defaults. I can do the basic command line by entering reboot or just clicking on the start menu and clicking on restart. It will stay on the command line. So hold on a few seconds since the device will reboot again. And now we get our password wizard again. So we are good. Just to cover the last way to reset the device, if you reboot the device again, and you can do that from the UMS or from the device, press escape during boot up process and go to reset to factory default. So that's a boot menu available on any kind of Agile devices, UD Pocket, OSC, or Agile endpoints, and you will be able to reset to factory defaults too. And then you will see more or less the same window like you already did on the command line interface inside of the graphical user interface. So I will just leave it for a couple of seconds. And here we go. So you see again, I'm able to choose if I want to reset everything or just a part of the configuration. So I'm always keeping yes for everything. And just keep in mind that the Layout is American, so you have to press Z if we speak about a German language. Now the device will reboot again, so that's the step which is achieved automatically if you use this function, but you have to enter manually if you're doing it from a command line. 
and our device is back to normal again. So just to close this chapter, I want to give you a last information regarding ICG. If you reset the device to factory with defaults, be aware that the ICG configuration will be gone also. So be careful with that feature if you're using the Azure Cloud Gateway. Thank you for joining our technical video session. All links mentioned in this session are available in the show notes section of this video. You will find more technical content and other videos on agilecommunity.com and agileacademylearn.agile.com.